Hey everyone, how are you guys doing? It's your girl Twin D and guys I will be talking to you today in regards to a very important topic and this video I will be posting it both on my Twin D channel and on my Womb Manual channel for the Divine Masculines because this is something that I see especially with those who have no clue as to if the person they're dealing with is their twin flame or not. I know you have seen the title and that's what we'll be looking at today. Is your twin flame an ex? And I want to clarify that today with you guys. So whether you're the masculine or the feminine, it's the same way. Just listen up. Please pay, please pay close attention, guys. Because this information that I'm going to be giving to you, that I'm going to be helping you with, will clear up a lot of doubt for you guys. Especially... For those who are holding on to the ex, thinking that they are their twin flame. Because there are a lot of people who come on YouTube and they have this choice to make between an ex and a new person that they have met. Now, because some of these Divine Masculines and Divine Feminines are in a relationship with this person that they just left from, and during their relationship they may have struggled in and out, in and out, breakups, makeups, and then they met someone new. But then, now they become confused because now, after learning what a twin flame is, now they're thinking, so is this X my twin flame or is it the new person that I recently met? Because they're saying the new person, they have no connection with this person. This person just showed up out of nowhere. This is someone new that they have met. So how can they be connected? So then they turn to the ex and they say, okay, the ex is my twin flame because we have been through a lot. We have been through in and out. So let me get right into it. And let me explain in regards to the ex and the new person. I have some notes here and I, I took I took um, the meaning here of the word ex according to the Collins Dictionary because I don't want you to just say that I'm talking off of me, my experience or what I know or just something I made up. This meaning of the word ex came from the Collins Dictionary. Okay, the word X, in accor according to the Collins Dictionary, someone's X is a person they used to be married to or used to have a romantic or sexual relationship with. The prefix, the prefix X is added to nouns that show that someone or something is no longer the thing referred to by that noun. For example, a someone's ex-husband is no longer their husband. So, when you are married, and you're no longer married to that person, that person now becomes your ex 
husband or your ex-wife. That shows you that they are no longer serving the purpose that they were serving. And that X, in order for you to label that thing as X, that person as an X, and this is me talking, you would have to have had a romantic or a sexual relationship with that person in order to use the word X. Now, let's look at boyfriend and girlfriend. And this is taken from Wikipedia. And for the males, it is the same meaning for the girlfriend. I just use the one meaning because it would be very much redundant to, repeat, to be repeating the same thing because it's a different word. But anyway, boyfriend and girlfriend, it has the same meaning. You just got to switch the gender, okay? So the meaning of the word boyfriend and girlfriend taken from Wikipedia. A boyfriend is a male friend or acquaintance, often specifying a regular male companion with whom a person is romantically or sexually involved. I'm going to say it again. A boyfriend is a male friend or acquaintance often specifying a regular male companion with whom a person is romantically or sexually involved. This is normally a short term committed, committed, which means that you and the person has to be together whether you're living together or you're going out together for a long period of time and you're committed to each other and to the time that you're spending with each other this is normally a short-term committed relationship where where other titles Example, husband or partner are more commonly used for long-term committed relationships. So for a short-term committed relationship, meaning it will only last a short period of time. And remember, to be committed, it has to be that you're together, living together, or going out together, and you both come to that, or do you say, that, that conclusion that yes, we will be committed to each other until we figure out what we want with our lives, if we want to take it to the next level and get married or whatever, then in, during that period, you're considered boyfriends and girlfriends. And this, this next phrase that I have here, or meaning this is this I took from um, wordreference.com so it says generally the use of boyfriend or girlfriend by anyone regardless of gender or sexual orientation is usually used to mean someone that person has a serious relationship with they are a couple So being a boyfriend and a girlfriend to someone means that you're a couple and you are involved in a serious relationship with that person until you decide what you want to do after a period of time. Do you want to get married or do you want to call it quits and move on to somebody else? Now let's get into why I gave you those meanings. There are a lot of people who are here on YouTube and I've seen the comments and that's why I'm making this video. These people have been in relationships, been married to this person 
and they were in a long-term committed relationship with someone. And then they may break apart. And because somebody is so in love with the other person, they break down. They don't want to let go off of the relationship even though it's breaking apart, even though they are being separated. They always try to give it another try or they want the other person to give them another try. And then they got involved in the twin flame dynamic and they say, okay, this person is my twin flame because this person and I were in love and we separated and now I want this person back. I am here to tell you that your twin flame is never an ex. Your twin flame is never a past boyfriend or a past girlfriend. Your twin flame is someone whom you will meet for the very first time and you are going to try and start a relationship. You're going to go on dates, probably. You're going to be in love with this person. You're going to want to start a relationship with this person. Notice, start a relationship. You weren't in a committed relationship with them yet. They were not your boyfriend yet. They were not your girlfriend yet. So you may have known this person before. When you meet this person, you would have met this person and you will be trying to start a relationship with this person. And it could never work out. Even if you guys got together long enough and you decided to get married, it will never last. But that's another story for a different set of twin flames. These twin flames that I'm talking about specifically, and this is the major group of twin flames. You meet somebody, you fall in love with them. You don't know why you're so in love with them. They don't know why they're so in love with you. They don't know why they can't stay away from you. Sometimes one of you may have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. Or sometimes one of you may be married and the other is not. Sometimes both of you are married. You usually meet this person after a difficult period in your life. At a time when you may be thinking of leaving a relationship that you're in. When you're having a very hard time with the person you're in a relationship with. When you feel like you can't take life anymore because you've been hurt too badly and you feel like giving up on love and everything. That's when your twin flame comes in. And some of you divine masculines, you will meet your divine feminine at a point when you are trying to decide to break away from a marriage or break away from a boyfriend, girlfriend, long-term committed situation. Divine feminines, it may be the same for you. But I want you to know that your twin flame is never an, a, an ex. Your twin flame, and I'll say it again, is never an ex-partner. This is never someone you were married to 
for three, four, five, six, ten, twenty, thirty years. And you break away, you break apart, you separate, you got divorced because of struggles in your relationship. And then because you want this person back so badly, you're so in love with this person that you will do anything to get them back. That doesn't make you a twin flame. Your person is not an ex. There are another set of twin flames. And this is usually twin flames who are single when they meet each other. And then they try to start a relationship together. But because they have to heal and they have to get rid of their wounds, their souls never let them. They're always having up and down issues and sometimes the relationship never even got off the ground. Sometimes with this next set of twin flames, they fight against the hardship, they fight against the struggle, they fight against what God is trying to show them that not yet, not yet, but they fight against it. Free will, right? And they end up getting married. But then that marriage never lasts. That marriage never lasts. I don't even think that marriage will pass six months. And they break up so that's what I'm telling you guys with a twin flame relationship your relationship with this person as a matter of fact I've said it before what you have with your divine masculine and your divine feminine is not a relationship it's a connection you are connected you cannot be broken nor separated from each other you're always together because you're a part of each other you're each other's soul and heart. So if you are involved in a long-term relationship, married, committed, and there was no ups and downs, no nothing, until after a long period of time, then that person is not your twin flame. Because the longest you will be happy with your twin flame for when you just meet is around three months. That's an average. And then you will be breaking apart from each other. You will be separating from each other after that. So if you're a twin flame who have been in a long-term marriage, a long-term commitment and you guys got separated and now you met someone new and you're wondering who is my twin flame who is my true love it is not the ex it is not the ex it is that person that new person that you love so deeply that you don't know how you're, you're in love with this person or why you're in love with this person. You look at this person. This person is not the type I normally go for. This person is older than I am. I never usually date older people. Or this person is younger than I am. I never usually date younger people. Or this person is a different race than I am and I never used to date a different race nor a different religion but yet still you're so in love with this person and you don't know why same divine masculine and feminine divine masculines you'll be attracted to this person that you don't even you can't even understand why again because they're not the type you normally go for but yet still you're deeply in love with this person but there's something nudging you inside that it's not the right time you're not ready yet and you may be led to go back to that relationship you were trying to break free from 
It's not because that person is for you, Divine Masculine. It's because you have to go and learn some lessons from that person. You have to go and heal. That is the first sign of healing. Learning your lessons. Overcoming the battles you are facing with them. Because in the end, you are not supposed to be going through those same battles and struggles with your Divine Feminine. So you got to clear them. You got to gain that confidence away from your, your person that you're so in love with. Same for you, Divine Feminines. You've got to break free from all those things that have been holding you back. You've got to become the emperor and the empress before you can be together in a full union. You've got to go through changes. Because when you meet each other, it's like you both activated each other and like now it's time to start the change. So if you were in a long-term relationship and everything was good for years and then all of a sudden this person walks away from you or things start to change, this person was cheating, this person was mistreating you, and there's a divorce, there's a separation, that's your ex. That's the person you're supposed to learn your lessons from. This person may mistreat, mistreat you, make you feel less of a man, less of a woman, use you for your financial stability, to make themselves financial stable, financially stable. If you notice in some of your relationships that you were involved in, some of these long-term relationships that you were involved in, there is always one person putting in all the work and the other person is just lackadaisical and the other person doesn't care about your feelings. The only thing that person cares about is that you're bringing in the money, you're making them feel good, you're making them feel love. While in the meantime, you're feeling drained, divine masculine, divine feminine. You're feeling worked out. And you can't stop working because you gotta provide for someone sitting at home. You gotta provide for a home that there is only one person who is making the effort to keep. Well, it's because you have to learn your lessons. You have to learn what you will tolerate from others and what you will not. And you have to learn to stand on your own two feet and express yourself. And once you are done fighting through those battles, then you'll be ready to be united with your Divine Feminine, your Twin Flame, because the same battles and struggles you're going through, Divine Masculines, is the same battles and struggles your Divine Feminine will be going through. Sometimes it's the Divine Feminine who have already gotten out of their long-term relationship when they met the Divine Masculine. Because the Divine Feminine is the leader and the Divine Feminine usually makes the first move and then the Divine Masculine. That's how it goes. The Divine Masculine follows in the steps of the Divine Feminine. My book is here, and that's why I wrote this book. Because, again, I was instructed by God to write this book. Because there are too many people, there are too many people who are clarifying their relationship as a twin flame relationship when it is, in fact, their karmic relationship. And they keep holding on to that karmic relationship that they should let go off of so they can really bring in their true twin flame. Or if not even a twin flame, a soulmate that will love them like no other person has ever loved them. What I've told you today, it's in this book. 
and I need you to stop saying that you're a twin flame and get the book and find out for real. It only hurts if you continue to say you're a twin flame and then five years down the line you'll figure out you are not a twin flame. You'll figure out that person you were wasting your time on was not your twin flame. That's the only time it hurts. That's the only time you will feel like you wasted your time. Now this book is written to save you some time. And there have been people who are going through this situation for years. And they don't know how to bring their connection together. And that's another reason this book was written. So people can stop struggling and find their true twin flame and find how to get into union with their twin flame. The Divine Masculine is usually the runner and the Divine Feminine is usually the chaser. Whether you want to use those words or not, we got to use something. We got to use something to identify what we're experiencing. So it's more familiar. So we have more understanding of what we are dealing with. If you don't know if you're a runner or a chaser, it's in this book. The signs, the symptoms, everything you will be going through, things you will be experiencing. And this is the chaser's guidebook. But it tells you what the runner will do. The runner is usually the divine masculine. So divine masculines, you too can purchase this book. Because you will have someone coming around you. You will be in love with this person and you don't know what's going on. And you're breaking apart from this person. But you so want to be together with this person. But something happened between you two that break you two apart. Maybe you went back to the person you were leaving. Maybe this person was acting in a way that... Make, made you feel like you were in a relationship with the person you're trying to run away from and you started to back to back off because you're saying no I can't handle this hurt again but this person kept chasing after you telling you they're in love with you even some of them may even tell you that we are twin flames but you had no idea what that is you, you don't know what that is all that you know is soulmate but there's something deeper and greater twin flame, a bond that can never be broken. And you will know this divine masculine because you're going to want this person so badly. And you're going to be fighting yourself from being around this person because you're so attracted and you don't know why. But this book will help you to figure out what's happening with you guys. So again, your twin flame is not an ex. There are three different types of twin flames that I know of at the time of this recording. The ones that I just told you about that may meet each other when either one or both of you is getting out of a long-term relationship or commitment and you, you meet this person, this new person. And then the other set, who met each other when you both were single, because you both are single. And then that relationship, couldn't last. And then there's the other set, who may have met when you are single, or may have met with the first one, where some of somebody is leaving from a relationship and you get together and you fought through the odds and you may even get to being married but that marriage never lasts within three months four months you guys are breaking apart six months and you're 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 trying to get a divorce but you're so in love with each other and you're wondering why that 
or those two will have to be different videos. But this video is for those who met someone and there was an ex recently or even if you did not meet someone new but you have an ex that you were together in a relationship with and you guys separated divorced or whatever and it hurts you so bad you want this person so bad that you refuse to let go off of them and you start to get information and you came across twin flame and you say yes 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 we are twin flames because we were in a relationship and we separated and I can't let go it's more than that it's not one thing it comes with feelings it comes with emotions and they're all in that book we are to stop lying to ourselves so that we can experience true love so that we can experience joy because sometimes we lie to ourselves so badly that we begin to believe the lie we're telling ourselves. Sometimes we lie to ourselves and put ourselves back in relationships that can harm us. So I just want you guys, I just wanted to clarify that for you today. So you get a better understanding of what you're dealing with. And if you still don't understand, purchase my book. It will clear up a lot. In that book, it's all experiments. Research. And explanations the link will be in the description box below if you don't know where to find the description box if you're using your cell phone is that arrow beside the title of the video touch that arrow and the information will fall down if you're using your your laptop or tablet or computer whatever it's gonna say show more the tablet may have the arrow because it's like a phone but if you're using your desktop it will say show more you touch that show more and the information will fall down take care of yourselves everyone let's be true let's be kind to ourselves because this journey is all about self-love learning self-love self-appreciation and most import importantly a spiritual connection with God Take care of yourselves, everyone. Love you all. Later.